Dear colleagues, my name is Miroslava Hredil. I am from Kapenko Physical Mechanical Institute of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. And uh, the title of my report is Brittle Fracture Manifestation in Gas Pipeline Steels After Long Term Operation. Main gas pipelines are strategic objects on which energy security of a country is strongly dependent. The gas transmission system of Ukraine, GTS, is one of the most powerful and extensive networks of the trunk gas pipelines in the world. By means of Ukrainian GTS, natural gas is delivered to domestic customers and transported across Ukraine to countries of the European Union. And nowadays, around 50% of natural gas from Russia is transited by Ukrainian GTS. Uh, however, the age of about a half of gas mains in Ukraine has exceeded 30 years. It is known that long-term operation of gas pipelines causes their insert degradation. Degradation of structural steels consists in a worsening of their properties in a course of long-term operation that leads to reducing the serviceability of industrial installations, including pipelines. The main danger of the operational degradation is a high risk of brittle fracture, which is rapid and often unpredictable. So in this work we will discuss the canons of brittle fracture in long-term operated gas pipeline steels. The object of our research are uh, pipe steels with different strength and time of operation from 25 to 51 years. The typical microstructure of these steels is the following. We can see three grain layers alternating with strips of perlite, which are noticeably thinner, especially in the steel X70. Such texture is concerned with the rolling production process. Let's consider the microstructure of the steel 17H1S in more detail. The texture is clearly revealed in both axial and radial cross-sections. Perlite interloyers in the steel in the as-received state, in axial directions, are almost continuous and considerably longer than that in the radial directions. Here perlite strips are often interrupted by some separate grains of ferrite. Considering operated steels, we should take into account influence of hydrogen, which usually occurs during the long-term operation of gas pipelines. Hydrogen is accumulated mainly at the boundaries ferrite perlite, whereas perlite itself serves as a barrier for it due to its lower permeability for hydrogen. However, hydrogen can penetrate through ferritic lamella into perlite to a certain distance it causes embrittlement of the boundaries ferrite cementite within perlite and in this way facilitates a spelling of cementite constituent. Thus, perlite becomes damaged uh, with a well-developed network of defects, microdeluminations, concentrated mainly along the borders with the ferritic bands. We can see the darkest areas of damaged perlite in lower pictures indicated by arrows. Matching together, this delamination can reach significant sizes, like in the case shown on the figures. Such defects undoubtedly weaken the pipe wall and facilitate the fracture processes. Concerning standard mechanical properties, it is easy to note from the pictures that the tested steels strengthened during their operation, while their plasticity decreased. A reduction of plasticity characteristics is the most considerable for 17H1S steel, less for X60, and almost negligible for X70. It should be noted that in service damaging discussed before is the most pronounced for 17H1S steel and to a lesser extent in X70 steel. Uh, this is in a, in a good agreement with results of the mechanical testing so the steel X70 seems almost unsusceptible to operational degradation 
uh, obviously due to a control of the rolling uh, during its manufacturing, which ensured um, grain refining. Analyzing uh, fracture surfaces of specimens after the tensile test, it is obvious that the effect of steel texture is more pronounced for the operated steel, even under low magnification. Besides, for the operated steel, the effect of degradation is clearly revealed after the testing in the corrosive environment. Delamination after the testing in air uh, is surrounded uh, by a ductile relief consisted of dimples, whereas in the case of NSO solution, the lamination becomes origin of brittle fracture in the form of transgranular cleavage. This trend maintained not only near the external surface of the specimens contacted with the corrosion environment, but also in the center of its cross section. This indicates a possible occurrence of this delamination before the testing during steel operation uh, because of uh, cohesion weakening between adjusted layers of ferrite and perlite. It is known that the main char characteristic for assessment of pipe steel resistance to brittle fracture is impact toughness. And uh, this parameter decreases with operation time for all tested steels. Uh, it also depends noticeably on specimen orientation, as illustrated for the steel X60. Fracture of transfer specimens realizes by detachment along structural elements of the texture and therefore requires less energy consumption. In the case of longitudinal specimens, the fracture plane intersects fibers of the texture so the fracture path deviates, as shown on the bottom pictures. Uh, considering the fracture surfaces after the impact tests, some fractographic elements of brittle fracture were identified, namely non-structural smooth areas, delaminations, indicated in red, against the background of a typical relief of ductile fracture due to microvoid coalescence and cleavage with the typical river patterns, right bottom picture, and also their combinations. Comparison of the mechanical properties regarding their sensitivity to operational degradation allows concluding that impact toughness is much more sensitive to in-service changes in material than strength and plasticity. So it was chosen for the following materials characterization. A revealed structural and fractographic features of degradation for the tested materials after impact tests were quantified using a software elaborated in our institute. As a result, we introduced a parameter alpha as a ratio of the area of brittle elements detected at the fracture surface to the total fracture area. The established relationship alpha versus relative changes in KCV parameter allows ranking operated pipeline steels according to their current state degree of embrittlement, regardless of their strength, time of operation and service conditions. We can see uh, that the points attributed to different steels lay on the one curve. Alpha, in turn, is, is proposed uh, to consider as the quantitative fractographic parameter of steel operational degradation. It is important to note that cleavage was found only on the fracture surfaces of a heavily degraded steel, for which a drop of impact toughness was the most considerable. A cadence of cleavage can indicate that a steel has reached a certain critical state and the following operation could be concerned with the real risk of brittle fracture. The substantiation of such critical state for pipeline steels uh, would be a criterion for their further safe service. And finally, conclusions. Operational degradation of pipeline steels is manufactured, manifested photographically by the occurrence of microdelamination and cleavage fragments as evidence of steel embrittlement. 
The occurrence is promoted by hydrogen accumulated along the boundaries between ferrite and perlite layers and causes um, a weakening of cohesion between the bands of ferrite and perlite. The relative area of brittle fragments on the fracture surface is proposed to use as a fractographic indicator in the assessment of the current state of operated pipeline steels. Uh, the change of the main brittle elements on the fracture surface from delamination against the background of ductile, ductile relief of the typical dimples to brittle transgranular cleavage could be considered as a criterion of a steel's critical state. Thank you for your attention.